Damn. Damn, I'm gonna have to go to jail. It's up, YouTube. What's cool? What's great? What's happening? It's time for life. It's also time for another life after lockup. So today we're looking at Angela and Tony. These people were actually featured two seasons ago. And Angela was going to meet Tony at a bus stop and he never showed. I think at that point he had not come out of prison yet or something like that. Then the season after he's come out of prison, they're trying to establish a relationship, that yada, yada, yada. Turns out this guy loves to gamble, loves his women, loves going around with them women. And so she finds out what she did. Oh, this was so brilliant. Like everybody was like, wow, how did she figure this out? So she went through his phone, but instead of taking his phone, she took his phone, took out the chip, put it in her phone, and then she got to see all like all the messages and stuff that he had been all the correspondence between him and this other woman or the other women or stuff like that so she figured everything out she burned all his clothes all his shoes all his everything all the belongings all the letters that he wrote to her when he was in prison all the kind of stuff right this was actually a couple that nobody thought was really going to come together and actually be a real couple they thought that tony was going to dip he was going to bounce but i've heard or read somewhere that when you're in love after lockup there is a check to get so every single episode you do get paid every single one of them gets paid so that would be an incentive to stay around and to definitely make an appearance at least an appearance on the show no matter how ugly how no matter how unattractive the other person is on the in the real world they all or even in prison they all know that there's a check to get so if that's the reason that's that's an incentive for people to stay around so he did show but he turned out to be a bum so she also has a friend who is who is um we will meet I've forgotten his name, his name escapes me, but he has expressed that he really loves Angela and he really wanted to marry her, he proposed to her and she was like, mm, no. Tony did know about this eventually and he was very uncomfortable by that, but anywho, um, yeah, she kind of kicked him out and he came crawling back. Now it's Koro time, so it's even more like she, she just, you know, when you're having to spend so much time with other people, like she just wants no, no parts of it. But now she's going to tell this best friend of hers or one of her best friends or whatever he is, that actually she had another dude on the side when that was also in prison that she had some kind of relationship with and then broke it off when Tony got out. So she kept her options open. This is what she did. And now she's going to tell this guy all about it. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey guys. That what's up, man. So this is the guy who proposed to Angela and all this what's up man is very homeboy-esque like she really sees him as like one of the homies like nothing more nothing less I guess but yeah so um yeah it's just interesting how he just keeps coming back how he continues to want to be in her life how he continues to ask questions about um about the relay about her relationship with Tony and stuff like that because that must be very painful because he got rejected by her. So I don't know why he does that to himself, but he does. And now he's come with a little gift. He's bought, he's made like this little lamp thing. And it's actually for not only her, but also for Tony. So that's interesting. Tony to, to let her down. I didn't really know it was going to be two days after the wedding. Because that's what it was. Two days after the wedding, he dipped out and went to those, those, those women. And, um, yeah it was really really quick it was really really quick that guy could not stay faithful for more than 48 hours in any case when i saw this lamp i was like is there a hidden camera in this lamp or something or some kind of audio device like he is so interested in angela's life he wants to be totally part of it and yeah i don't know how she feels comfortable still kicking it with him because he he has really been like i don't think you should be with this guy i think you should be with me i really like you love you. all these things like she he's really been trying to get with her and she's just like nope i got tony and now she ain't got tony but she's got another dude which she's about to tell us about oh it's a light cool he's, he's always worried and, and she's, she's always smoking, smoking. <laughs> and then she never he's a good dude so what so he asked what is he in for and she said possession of a pew pew yes that um and then she's like buddy he, but he's a good dude i mean how can you even why does she always go for it? 
I don't want to sound ageist, but at her age, she's got a good job. She's a mental health something, something. She's living on this place far away from everybody else. I'm sure if she bought that house, she's got it all paid off. She's, she's, she's living, a, a, I guess, a comfortable life. You got this friend who's always around, who's always the shoulder to cry on. Why not just go with somebody like she? She wants like the rough guy. She wants like the bad guy, and you know, with the bad guys always come the bad things. So I don't know why she doesn't just give maybe this guy a shot. But maybe she sees him too much as a brother, which happens a lot. People friend zone a lot, but this guy, he's really trying, and he's still here. The fact that he, he's even still around is is a wow. Happened to him when you met Tony. He just faded away. How can it just a spark rise up and then just drop away like that? That is a great question. So it's just like with Lacey. When Jean wasn't there, then John was good enough. And when John wasn't good enough, then John was there. But when John left, then all of a sudden John was good enough. And it's like these sparks, they just go, whoop, the butterflies, they come, they go, and they turn into. They, they, they revert back to, to uh, what do you call it? What are those things called? Caterpillars. And then it's just like, uh, uh, uh. then they become butterflies again. Then they become caterpillars. I know that's reverse, but that's literally what's going on. These people are living in the reverse. Everything they're doing is reverse. Everything they're doing is a reverse world. Like nothing about what these people are, are doing is what people would normally do. Oh, He's asking all the good questions. He's reminding me of Hector, which is Sean's friend from another, this, the other season, the actual love after lockup season, uh, but also a few episodes ago. These people have made, it is very confusing. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're gonna be very confused by everything that I'm saying. If you don't follow it, you're gonna be very, very confused. But you know, just watch, watch this show, just watch everything unfold. It is what it is. So yeah, this guy is very straight up. He just tells it like it is. He's just asking her all the questions. And yeah, he doesn't care. He's been in my heart, even while Tony was there. Really? Isn't that like cheating? I just hate. <laughs> this is what I mean. He's like, isn't that like cheating? And it, it kind of is. That's, that's that emotional cheat kind of thing that's going on here. That's exactly like, even when I, she's like, even when she was with Tony, this other guy, whatever his name is, was also in her heart. That is horrible. And she was angry at Tony, but Tony actually went and did with these those women and but she's doing the emotional thing and and if it's bad enough that she doesn't want to tell him she probably shouldn't have done it in the first place but hey ho to see you go through all this again for somebody else you know Tony was a big mistake damn damn I'm gonna have to go to jail oh you're gonna have to go to jail to get a chance with me <laughs> It's true, like, because that is all that she seems to like, just, the guy is right out of prison, she just loved him. And I don't know why she finds these people. They never let us know where people find these people, because their show would be flooded with millions of people who have these type of stories. Like, now it's, it's very much like a niche, it's not a lot of people that are doing this inmate love thing, but if they start disclosing these are the websites and stuff like that i'm pretty sure so many people especially now in coro times and people are quarantined and locked up and whatnot they are gonna out of boredom just go on there and might catch feelings through a screen for somebody i don't know it's crazy also this i don't know where they put the camera whether it's in the tree or whatnot but because of coro these people are filming their own stuff and it is very interesting how they choose the angles and what they do but anyway he's warning her to be careful because she should be this guy was went to jail because of possession of a pew pew and that's not something to take lightly like if you're not licensed and stuff and you're carrying one of those <gasps> for what but, but yeah she, she should, should be, be careful, careful. There really are a few words to describe how I truly feel. You like my hair like this? So now she's talking to the other guy. So then she's reading all the letters that he, or some of the letters that he sent. And she's asking, do you like, if he likes her hair like that? I do like your hair like that. It's all curly, ain't it? No, it does give a lots of volume. You know, sometimes I think these guys, they have, they, they, they really do suffer with some of these questions. Like this question, how, how... How exactly is he supposed to answer that? He answered it good. No, he gives a lot of volume. Like, <laughs> it's just a weird conversation. Like, 
they haven't spoken in a very very long time they speak and then this is the conversation that is going on but i guess small talk and stuff get stuff out of the way but it's just awkward that now all of a sudden she's phoning him i would feel if i were him i would feel used because that's exactly what's happening here it's like a lot of people this season they just have a lot of people on speed dial and as reserve and if this doesn't work out surely they can go with this and it's kind of sad because they're playing with people's emotions and people's hearts and people's mental it's, it's crazy. crazy my burn tony's but i still have yours you said some sweet stuff that she, she said, said that she burned Tony's letters, but she still got his letters. I don't know if that's flattering because she actually left you alone to go with the Tony. So apparently at some point, Tony, she had more love for Tony than she had for you. But within a split second, she burned all Tony's letters. So that came crumbling down. And then there's you. Are you still here in terms of how high and much and big her love for Tony was, are you still here? Or have you all of a sudden gone there? And is this woman capable of flip-flopping around because she, she, she's not in tune with her emotions, doesn't know who to pick? I don't know. What's that do me? You always talk about Tony this, Tony that. Do me. I've always, you know, run to Ross and cried about it. Oh, oh Ross. Not wearing a brain for his baby. She says that doesn't prove it. She is having to prove that she's totally done down with Tony because she's gonna wait, come back, gonna wait, come back. And this guy really wants to know, but I don't know how he feel comfortable being in a relationship with this woman because she ditched you before and she can do it again. And Tony is still around, so I'm confused. I don't know why she started crying. All of a sudden she was crying. I really don't know. I love you. You do. It's my fault. It is. To help we go camping. For what? Be able to finally touch him freely would be like the best thing in the world. Love you. I'll see you later. I love you. Bye. Uh, 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 uh. Um, <sighs> no, that. He wants me to come visit him. Indiana, here I come. If these people do not have, if, if these people do not know what to do with their money, please somebody direct them my way. I would definitely know what to do with all this cash. She's going to where? She's going to travel all the way to go camping and to go fishing for what? Also, this is still in Koro times. That is if they haven't mixed all the episodes because now I don't know what they're doing. But this is in Koro times. Why is she going anywhere? Where are you going, Mrs? Like, where are you going? I'm so confused. Anyway, Tony is over here. He's FaceTiming with his uh, black friend over here who's wearing his face mask completely wrong. But yeah, he's talking to him um, and he's like, you don't look happy. Happy Tony, friend. Got a direct guard to make it right. I really think I have a shot at getting Angela back. I mean, she could have hit me with a bat and she didn't. That's progress. Yeah, yeah because when she, he first went to the crib, she had a bat. She was livid, she was so angry, she did not want to speak to him. But he thinks he has a chance because he used to smooth talk and then he would, he would be able to go back in there. Smooth talk and be able to go back in there. But Koro, things are changing. People are like, can I stay with this person for a long period, periodically time in this one household without going bonkers? And if the answer is no, that's why a lot of divorces are happening because people are going crazy being in the same household with that one person for a very, very long time and not having an escape or a break from this person. Damn. So that's it. In any case, this one was long, long, long. I hope they bring the other couples back. Like, I feel really weird talking about these people all of a sudden and I have to give an intro, which is really, really long because I know not everybody watches Love After Lockup or Life After Lockup or whatever. So I have to give a whole rundown about the people and that's not even doing them justice at all because so much has been going on with these people. But anyway, I'm going to cut it up here. Please, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump, stump, and zone on that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think about this situation. You think she has more guys on deck? More inmates on deck? You think she should just go with this best friend of hers? Or is he too plain? Is he too boring? Does he indeed need to go to jail for before she would ever even look his way? Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the <coughs> notification bell while you're at it so you get notified for future uploads. But to make it easy for you. I post daily. Daily game.
again up in here so that is not a wall i don't know what that was but in any case so yeah i'll see you here tomorrow i don't do only love after lockup i don't do only life after lockup i do an array of things this is a lifestyle i will do everything up in here i'll see you tomorrow god bless mm -hmm.